Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I just wanted to quickly go through the new version of Asus WRT Merlin. So that's a third party firmware that you can install on certain Asus routers and uh, what I'll do is I'll link to it in the description on the routers that it includes but it also does include the one that I've got myself the GTAX 11000 and the uh, AC86U as well. Um, so what this update is actually uh, came out on the 23rd of July and it's now version 386.3. Um, so you might have seen some of these new features because um, this is a big update with lots of fixes, updates, changes and new features as well. And some of these features have been in the beta versions, the test versions of Merlin. Um, that you might have seen before or so on some forums for that, that you wanted uh, testing So now this has been officially released um, So it's ready for the public and um, So we just quickly go through and as I said, this is a very big uh, update as you can see here. There is several uh, fixes um, within this update, so I think we've got around eight fixes and around eight updates and then around four changes and then around uh, two new features as well so it's a very big update in fact um, what's been introduced so as we go through we'll have a look and see the features so first of all they've introduced the new VPN director uh, so VPN director as you can see on the right hand side of the screen is, is a bit like the uh, Asus uh, Fusion uh, VPN Fusion um, feature that's in the uh, ASUS firmware so this brings together all the uh, basic VPN uh, clients and uh, what it does it replaces the original policy based uh, routing imp implementation so uh, meaning all the rules are now configured in a central location uh, just to be one wary is that this um, VPN director only um, currently supports OpenVPN it doesn't support PPTP or uh, L2TP clients are not currently supported but I think most people if they're going to be using VPNs will probably be using OpenVPN anyway unless you're a business or you've got a preference to uh, L2TP again with PPTP um, I will advise using that because that's a very old format and there's no there's no ver no reason to be using that at all uh, so again yeah as we said on the right hand side you can see the screen where now you've got everything under the tab so you've got their VPN director and you can see where what it does it allows you to direct land traffic through specific open VPN tunnels and as you can see you can set them all up the statuses so you can see all the client statuses that you've set up so you can see them all on the list here uh, any, any policies you've set up and also if you want to redirect all traffic through that through your uh, router and normally that's basically uh, what most people um, people will be using and then you've got a kill switch as well so that basically stops any other before you start the VPN no other traffic can go through the internet until you uh, start the VPN basically um, and then you've got here disconnected connected and you can also start and stop the client as well as you can see on the side on the bottom there you can see there that is a, a new rules so you can sit here if they're enabled so you've got DNS through WAN example um, and then you've got client through VPN 3 so you can set up all of these different rules um, so it's, you can customize it to all your liking so it's really good and I think this is a really good feature as well that they've got here um, where you can actually have everything so certain clients can go through the firewall and things like that and it's really easy set up and it's all on just one tab as you can see here the, under VPN director so that's a really good feature I think it's been testing for a while and it's now come to the main version so next as you can we go on to is the uh, added new QR code feature so that's under your um, advanced features and all, but also it's under network map as well as the guest network page and so what that easily allows you to connect other devices especially mobile devices to your Wi-Fi network so as you probably have seen 
um, what a QR code is. They're, they're everywhere nowadays um, where you have to scan something with your mobile phone. And like with most versions of uh, Android and iOS, you can don't have to have a special app. You can use the normal camera app and it'll pick up the QR code and then a little pop-up will come on the top of the screen and it will open up whatever is on um whatever the link is so basically what this is really clever is that you don't have to give out your password to anyone or anything like that so if someone wants to connect to your wi-fi you just literally um, get them to scan the qr code and uh, if your phone is compatible that it will actually uh, set up the wi-fi for them and as i said you can generate the QR code, it can be saved as a file so you can print it or you can save it to a PDF so you can have it saved on, even on your own phone um, so you don't have to go into any settings or anything like that and you can just show them the, the QR code and they can scan it from your phone. Um, so yeah, so it's really good or if you're a business and you're using this feature you can have the QR code actually literally just uh, next to on the wall or next to the uh, wherever it is in your counter and they can just scan that code and connect to Wi-Fi that quick and easy so it's really good uh, feature to have and it makes connecting to Wi-Fi now much easier and, and more secure as well so next we've got is a change so that's the uh, open VPN uh, routing uh, handling so the firmware now handles uh, the routes creation itself before it was letting OP, uh, open VPN clients um, remove routes and everything else so it could basically it was allowing the open VPN uh, client to override it, any settings that was set in the actual router so now it won't do that so as you can see here you can um, the few changes are you can allow force internet traffic through the tunnel as we said that most people will be using that especially if you want a secure connection like at an internet cafe or um, um, or a coffee shop or something where you're using public uh, Wi-Fi you want all your traffic to go through um, your router not just um, whatever if you just want them to access your local um, IP addresses or um, the devices you've got there the uh, override as well as they were saying uh, for redirection you've got the kill switch as we already mentioned before and now you've got the manual stopping a client so it removed the kill switch as well so as we said on the right hand side of the screen there you can see on under client status you've got the button there as well so the uh, three changes that they've done is the reworked open VPN um, mode and the uh, with uh, DNS uh, masks so literally we'll come on to that later on you've got uh, moved OP uh, open VPN custom settings to uh, JFFS so uh, th that's basically the little partition you set up under, we've done previous version of um, Merlin software. Um, so you can go onto that and watch there. So basically we discovered there where you go into the actual settings and you can set up a partition um, there and where all the information for settings of any packages you download are stored on there. And also, uh, lastly, of the changes is they've added support now for the 2.5 gigabit uh, Ethernet port or interface uh, for the new RTAX86U variants. So, um, so that's really good now to see they're supporting that, so people can get the two, get the maximum speed out of their router. So with the updates we've got, um, so that's through uh, Nano Curl, uh, the DNS, OpenVPN. Uh, get DNS and stubby so basically uh, these are little programs that either do like we said the uh, open VPN uh, look after DNS and uh, basically just do the routing of your um, uh, router and then for your clients and everything else so it makes it much easier so get DNS is basically a DNS API that is specifically aimed at application so people who like the developers of uh, Merlin um, so it offers like a really flexible interface that allows them to access advanced DNS features. Um, so really good. So it supports the uh, secure multi ways of DNS and also includes uh, a version of Stubby. Um, so what Stubby is, is it can help implement uh, DNS over TLS and uh, DNS privacies uh, features. So basically if you type in your um, www.google.com um, and then you've got DNS over TLS that means your ISP or your internet service provider can't see what you're actually um, 
typing in and what websites you're going to so they can't track you via that as well so that's good all these latest um, little software tweaks at the back are all been upgraded so that's really good to see for security as well so moving on to the fixes as we said we've got several fixes here I won't take up too much uh, time but as you can see here um, on the uh, fixes we have um, on here so basically uh, the first one is setting up the OpenVPN clients DNS mode to exclusive uh, DNS exclusive redirection for the policy and the uh, clients connected to the guest network um, one couldn't be uh, routed through the OpenVPN tunnel so it's good to fix that USB disks not properly unmounted on reboot on some models so that's always good because I know a lot of people perhaps use uh, the USB sticks to store either um, files or anything like that or for sharing they use it for um, then you have the uh, missing error port and open VPN client failures or uh, well, connection failures and again we've got there about the uh, getting uneven uh, used even the JFFS partition scripting was disabled and then you lastly you've got the free DNS authentication errors um, that would not be properly reported as errors and they, they are now uh, correctly reported so as we can see through here all the different changes and as we said there's a lot of uh, diff all the fixes the updates and the changes and the new features as well that have been brought into Merlin now is really good to see um, and as we said that he puts a lot of effort into this so if you do I'll put the web address in the bomb if you do have any spare uh, money um, it's always good and you do use uh, the Merlin it's always good to donate to him because he does must must put a lot of time into this and uh, he doesn't charge as well so it's a lot of work he puts into this anyway so that's just a quick review of all the changes and the uh, the updates that have gone through in the latest version that's just been released and again um, if you do use this version um, you can you don't have to reset anything um, so what's good about using Asus um, WRT Merlin is that you can just update this as your uh, firmware and you don't have to delete you won't reset any of your settings so it'll keep those and then if you put your other firmware back on top of this so the original Asus firmware uh, it shouldn't interfere with anything either and it will keep all your settings so you don't have to keep backing up and erasing but as usual with anything um, there's always some ch small chance um, when uh, changing uh, firmware there may be a problem so if there is then I advise always just to do a backup of your settings so if there is any issues you can reset using the back button or the hardware button the reset on your Asus router and then um, you can go in there and restore settings so it will make basically bringing back the router uh, as easy as possible and quick as possible as well. Okay thanks for watching and I hope this helped a little bit and, uh, and have a great day. Thanks.